So I have absolutely no idea what to call that. Hailstorm, rainstorm, hurricane storm, every storm. You can't see 10 meters in front. What? Now, when you come to Madeira, one of the hikes that you absolutely must do is Levada dos 25 Fontes. It's got three beautiful waterfalls and it's a four hour round trip, not a very difficult hike. I think I've come during a storm, but I was really desperate to do the hike before I left. So let's go do that. So I've hardly even started and my fingers are already starting to feel numb. It is really cold. And this is also the one day that I forgot to wear my leggings underneath my shorts. Oh, now we have a little blue sky coming through, which is always exciting. And we've got our first bit of Levada. Aha. Uh -huh. So finally, it looks like we're starting. 25 minutes of just walking on there which has been pretty boring. And now I guess this marks the start of the actual hike. 25 Fontes and Risco waterfall, which is the one that we want to go to. And then of course, Cal Eta, which is down this way. So we're going to go for 25 Fontes. Now this hike is arguably one of the most popular hikes, or if not the most popular hike on the island. So in summer, if you do come, you'll find this is not how you experience the hike. It will be full of people because also it's not that challenging. It's only a four hour round trip. But if you do come in the winter, such as November, in the rainier months as well, you will see the waterfalls looking far better, far more beautiful, with far more water. And here we are, Risco waterfall. Oh, cannot wait to see this. Whoa, it is so so beautiful it's stunning there's like water coming off this cliff as well creating even more mist it's like something out of a fairy tale i can like hardly explain how stunning this is in in words and it's also really really easy to get to the thing that i'm enjoying about this hike is everything seems very well signposted i believe due to a landslide they did close it so you can't get behind there anymore but even so it is so stunning seeing it this close. It's just a real shame that there's nobody else here with me so I can get a photo, but I mean, unbelievable. And you can also see the cliffs, the valleys in the distance from here. It's a really amazing sight and a really beautiful place to come. And it's a real good feeler for what Madeira has to offer. And as you can see, everything is really well labeled. The Risco waterfall, which is that way, 25 Fontes, which is where we are going to continue for the remainder of the hike. So let's go. And it is hailstorming. Just like that, it goes from absolutely fine to really bad hailstorm. So bring a hood and another fork in the road. Left, right, this is the way that we want 25 Pontes. And here it is, the main attraction of it all, 25 Pontes. Starting to realize why it's called 25 Pontes now because I believe it's the 25 different streams. Maybe there's 25, maybe there's more, but Wow, stunning. I imagine as well in summer, this is probably packed full of people. But as you can see, there's nobody here. And if you bring your swimming costume, you'll probably be able to go for a swim in there. But this has been a really lovely hike. It's not been challenging at all. So you can come with your kids, come with your family, come with the elderly, and you'll definitely enjoy it. And that was 25 Fontes, which was amazing. I am gonna start heading back to the car now which should probably take me around an hour or so because I'm going surfing in Seychelles Beach. So very, very excited for that. Oh, such a good way to get fit. If you're not fit before you came to Madeira, do a few of these hikes. I can assure you, you'll be ready for the Olympics. Anyway, let's go. I mean, I'm sure you can hear how loud the um, hail is outside. Uh, and I've also just had a text from the surf 
instructor to say that unfortunately because of the storm we're not going to be surfing today the conditions aren't right so you know that is Madeira for you this is a real good reflection of what Madeira is and what to expect because storms just come out of nowhere oh well so I just literally had to pull over because I've been driving through a rainbow for the last 10 minutes now, there is only one thing that I'm yet to do here in Funchal, and that is learn about the Madeira wine. So that's why I've come to Blandy's to learn about exactly that. The part that we were all waiting for. Taste it. Mmm. I'm getting, um, I don't know what I'm getting. I don't really understand. <laughs> That was fun and interesting, and they also give you a 10% discount on any of their wines. I don't actually have any wine in here because I only carry hand luggage, so I'll be picking it up at the airport. So that was pretty cool. So this evening, we've come over to Frentosol in Can Canisau, and I'm here with George, who's the director at the Quinta de Sera Hotel. We've come to this lovely restaurant because he's a big fan of the fresh fish. What have we got here? Scabbard fish. We've got scabbard fish, which has been fried. And it's the most fresh that you can get. The most fresh that you can get, apparently. So I'm excited to taste that in the octopus. This is the home recipe. The home recipe, the scabbard fish. It's so, so good. And the batter, the flavors of the batter is just, mm. Yeah, very, very impressed. How come this hasn't got the banana? Forget the banana. That's just a tourist thing. And I didn't banana, know that. It's typical for also from Madeira, but at home you don't do that. You guys you just do. That. And this is the octopus, which is polvo. Polvo. You've got to try it in Madeira because every place I've had it has been delicious so far. So I'm excited to try this one. It's very fried. It's got a lot of oil on it. Mmm. Oh, it's got a bit of chili in there. It's got beer in there. Is that? Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Really impressed with this place. Like, very surprised about this place. And this isn't the kind of place that you would find necessarily on your TripAdvisor or on your recommendations elsewhere. This is somewhere that you'll find from local, right? If you speak to someone from the island, that is the only way that you're going to find out about a place like this. So, big thumbs up from me. I'm really enjoying it.